It's a video on custom NPCs uh, scripts that uh, you can use to have uh, custom NPCs speak multiple languages. It could be used on a multi-language server or you could use it for some sort of educational purposes. Um, it's pretty pretty flexible and pretty easy to do. Uh, it takes a little bit of translating through Google Translate but uh, that's not too hard. Uh, here we have a ship that uh, is one of the custom NPCs schematic files that the builders can build. comes with the new 1.8 and uh, I added this ladder here I guess actually. Uh, did my, my boat break? <laughs> okay. Oh no, there it is. Okay. So, on board here we have a uh, translator and he can talk multiple languages here. Now he's talking German because that was the last language I was testing on him. The way you change his language is you can uh, just take one of these wool blocks which has, have been renamed with a language German, Spanish, English, or Dutch and if you just click on him with the respective wool block he will speak that language. Now he's back to English. So, uh, this is the basic uh, villager language that comes with custom NPCs. So, I just use that as a test case. Um, some of the characters here, as you can see, do not come through very well. Uh, the special characters, I need to edit that a little bit. Uh, the vowel accents and the upside down question marks, things like that, um, in both Spanish and German. There's some other ones here and there. But uh, aside from that, it's, it's pretty slick. So, um, how do we do that? Well, um, let's try in one more language here. We'll just uh, put this on Anvil and we'll rename this French. So, okay, that was the easy part. Now, what we need to do is to take the dialogue files, which are these. These are the dialogue files in this directory. That's the world, custom NPCs, dialogue, and here's the directory villager. And then under there we have the various dialogues in the villager folder. So, if we take the first one, it looks like this. And it has, who are you? Uh, we'll take that and put that into French right there copy it paste it tell me something about your village copy that Paste that. Uh, goodbye. I should probably know what goodbye is in French at least. <laughs> there we go. Um, war. Uh, and then down here we have this. Is what the NPC will say. that. Yeah, hello is bonjour, yes. <laughs> okay. And there's one more thing here. Start. That's going to be the name of the dialogue.
Oops. I copied the wrong thing. Yes. There we go. Now, the only other two things we have to change are the dialog numbers, and that's really the file number right here. As you see, there's there were just three files, and then I added another language, another three, another three, and another three. So this one is going to, I'm going to save this one as 13, and then 2 is going to be 14, and 3 is going to be 15. So that's 15. It's 14. And then this is the back command, so that's negative 1, so that doesn't have to be changed. Um, and that is all that needs to be changed. I have to save this as 13. Right, yes, just don't want to overwrite something there. Save that, close that, then I just have to do the second one the same way. <laughs> the script. And this is the script right here. What it does, it just takes, uh, executes a ma command entity data command, which changes the actual dialog file associated with the with the uh, in the NPC's uh, dialog. So we can just copy this, add another else if, change it to German to French uh, 10 and so this is 13 and well it, what is start okay yes okay so that was the name of that dialogue and that's all you have to do you can change the color if you want or something but I mean they're all it's going to be identical to the it's going to be identical to the originals if you don't change anything else um, and that's all you do this is just looking what's in the player's hand the name of it um, is it English Dutch Spanish German and now French uh, if, if there's nothing in there it will just go around this whole thing so we just have to copy that into him Now, what you don't want to forget to do is to to uh, you have to reload the dialogs because right now they're not showing up. They won't show up if you. Oops! I just passed it. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's try German. That looks like German. Okay. Let's try French. Okay, that works. Yep, some of the special characters are not showing up very well. But that shows the basics of it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, comment. Okay, and you can see it's actually easy to uh, add sounds to these dialogues too. You can just go to the dialogue and they have a space here for sound. Now I just spent a little while working it out, but uh, that's this is really for a whole nother video to how to add um, resource packed sounds. I have a default resource pack here I can add stuff to. 
um, and editing sound JSON files, it's a little tricky. You leave out a comma, and it can just blow everything away. So, um, but uh, with a program like Audacity, you can just uh, you can just copy sounds. Ik ben een dorpeling hier. Right out of uh, Google Translate here into Audacity, and then save that as an OGG file. And like I said, it's simple. Um, and then put it into the resource pack. Uh, it's it's a few steps, but it's it's just moving from one place to another. Uh, so I did one right here. Uh, it's for the Dutch language, and I'll show you how it works. So let's see. Here's the French. That works. And let's see, Dutch is right there. It's when asked ask about the village, I believe. It's the first one. Who are you? No, so I'm a villager. Okay, yeah. Okay. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I did. Um, but you can have as many languages as you want to put in a chest uh, with green wool blocks. But like I said, it, it, the script would work for anything. Any uh, named item uh, that you would want to put here. Uh, and then it just changes the dialogues around. It's pretty slick. Thanks for watching. Happy sailing.